trying to help her. Um, I have all these filmmaker friends that, that are doing all different things. So, you know, what, what I would like to do, my dream would be to have a small piece of all these different things and able to just kind of work within the same system of marketing and promotion and, and do all these things, but to help them, you know, not have to worry about getting under a big umbrella, joining a, you know, a big, you know, union signing or, away their life, not right, understanding big, what they home. put it in. Exactly. That's... Like, you know, at the end of the day, it takes a lot of big stuff to get down to your core fan base. And, you know, if you're putting a commercial on TV for $25 million and it, it runs forever. And by the time you get all, all the way down to the people who actually care, it's not that big, but with the internet and targeting people and seeing who likes what, and, and you, you could find your fan base like pretty quickly. And it doesn't take that many fans to give you 10 bucks a month to like, you know, carve out a really good living. But to make that money selling records or being a TV star or something like that, which is a almost impossible, but yeah, that's a point zero 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 one percent chance of that. Right. So mm-hmm. this is we've seen this over the years, the predatory things that have happened over the years with athletes not understanding certain things when they come in, or not even predatory, because uh, because I can I can speak to this um, when you first start to get money and you're not from a background that. Of, gives you the skill set to be fiscally responsible or even understand what a credit score is, for God's sakes. How are you going to carve out an entire business structure out of all these different mediums that'll, you know, capitalize off of your capabilities or your art? I mean, to me, it looks like you're do- you're giving back to what's been taking care of you for so many years. Right. And these big companies aren't all evil. Um, no, of course and- not. So say, you know, say the UFC, for instance, or a record company, they take, there's so many fighters you never heard of or artists you never heard of that they take a flyer on them and they, and they pay them for either a fight and they look terrible or records that, you know, there's a billion records that never got released and the company's got to eat all that money. So when you're an unknown artist or a, a starting out fighter, you know, they, they can't pay you tons and tons of money because there's no return on that yet. Um, it's when you get there and, and, and you go up and, and you grow, it's when the companies have to start being like, okay, like we took a chance on you, you took a chance on us. Now we have to do what's right. But, you know, those guys at the beginning of the day, you know, fighting at 3.30 in, in an empty arena, it's not even on TV yet. You know, they're, 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 the companies are losing money by flying that guy in his camp there and paying for all his medicals. and Totally, and totally agree with you. Stuff. There's a price you know, to do this business.